morning, Mom. Good morning, honey. How are you? Fine. Where are we at? We're in <laughs> we're in Florida, southern Florida. So we're gonna go through some legacy questions. Okay, no. We've been working on you, we've been working on dad. The first part that we're gonna cover is your childhood. So uh, we'll, go, we'll go from your life's events, childhood in this section, and we'll move it along pretty fast. Okay? Okay. Or at your pace. I'm just gonna ask some questions, you add to whatever you want to. Or don't. Firstly, I love you very much. <laughs> okay. What is your full name? Dolores Marie Hakes Lindner. Okay. And what year were you born? Uh, 1936. Now, what year were you born? No, what was your birthday? Oh, May 3rd, 1936. Okay. And did your parents tell you anything about the day you were born? No. Like what was happening in the world? I never asked, I don't think. Mm -hmm. And was your middle name, uh, were you named after somebody with your middle name, Marie? I think my grandmother, yep. Mm -hmm. And your mom's name is Marie? And grandma, yeah. Your, yeah. And what's your first most vivid memory? Mm. Looking out the window of my front door, and I was about four and a half, and a man came by with a little pup, uh, pony, and my, both my brothers got on the pony and had a picture taken, but I couldn't because I had measles, so I missed the ride on the pony. Terrible, terrible. And what was the, um, the, the, the place that you lived at? Was it an apartment or a house that you grew up in? The play, first place I remember was the house that we lived on in George Street in Chicago. And how many bedrooms did you have? Uh, two bedrooms. Mm -hmm. And was that, an, was that a bungalow, a brick bungalow? Brick bungalow. With an alley in the back? Yes, mm -hmm. yes. And what was your bedroom like? Uh, it was just one little bedroom with a closet and uh, I don't know, maybe 12 by 12, something like that, I don't remember. And can you describe the neighborhood you grew up in? Mm, very simple, sweet, fun neighbors. Some some neighbors were very nice and some were kind of crabby because we were kids playing outside and they didn't like the noise. So uh, otherwise our uh, neighborhood was very quiet and it was very, um, it was nice. It was very pleasant. Everybody was friendly. It was very nice. Mm -hmm. And tell me about your parents. Where were they born? Mom was born in Chicago. Daddy was born in Chicago too. What memories do you have of them? Uh, my daddy spoiled me, of course. My mother was a little bit more strict, um, and she kind of gave, she kind of ruled the roost. My father was a little bit more quiet. Did your parents have a good marriage? You know, at the time, it was considered a relatively good marriage. Mm -hmm. And uh, how many brothers and sisters did you have? I have two brothers. Mm -hmm. And when were they born, older or younger? Uh, they were born, my oldest was born two years before me, and my other brother was one year before me, so. What memories do you have of them growing up? Mm. I loved them. I needed all their attention. I did everything I could to get them to pay attention to me, because I was a little sister, and uh, I'd even cause trouble to cause them to chase after me or do whatever, whatever. Were they protective brothers? They were very protective, yes. Did you have grandparents alive? Oh, yeah. My grandmother, Mom C. Uh, Kisselberg, she um, was my mother's mother, and my father's mother was Grandma Hakes, and I remember her very well. I remember all, all of them very well. Mm -hmm. And which one was your favorite? Which one was my favorite? Uh, my favorite was probably, well, you have to say Grandma Hakes because she was such a sweet and loving and kind and gentle person. But my favorite was my grandmother Kisselberg's sister, Mamie. 
She was, uh, she always spoiled me, of course. She worked at a grocery lend at uh, Lincoln Lawrence and Western, and um, she just always fussed over me, so I just loved it, of course. Did you have any pets? We always had pets. We had dogs. Uh, we what had a number dog's of dogs. Name? Huh? What was your dog's name? Well, we had uh, Butterball, um, and I don't even know where we got him. And we got one other dog, and uh, that one, I don't know, went by the wayside. I don't know. But then the last dog we had was Blackie, and it was kind of like a, it was a real mix, kind of a mix, a uh, cock or something. What did you wear in those days? Well, we had to wear a skirt and a blouse. To school? To school. But what did you wear when running the neighborhood? Jeans. Mm -hmm. Did you have an allowance? Uh, no. What responsibilities did you have at home when you were young? <laughs> I really didn't have m much, many uh, responsibilities. Um, what kind of school did you go to when we, you were in grade school? Grammar school was a... Uh, Faulkner, who was on the northwest side of Chicago, um, and it was just a small little first to eighth grade grammar school. It was fine. It was fine. And who was your friend there? Uh, well, Mary Shaw, um, and then Mary moved away, and uh, Ellen Hallquist, and uh, I really truly didn't have many girlfriends. I had some boyfriends. It's easier to get along with boys than it was with girls. That wasn't in grade school, though, was it? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> Did your family go on vacations? Actually, uh, when we got a little older, Mom and Dad would go out to Wakanda, and we would rent a cabin there for, um, it started out of two weeks, and then after a while, we got to stay there about a month, and Mom loved it. She just loved being on Bangs Lake. It was just a wonderful way for mom to get, go someplace and just sit down by the water and just loved it, just loved it. Sandy beaches? Sandy beaches, yes. And it was right in the middle of town. It was right in the middle of town. Mulvaney's, it was a beautiful resort and it was just, uh, it was so pleasant there. Yeah. In later years, they had the lock on the be big beautiful cabin on the left. <laughs> it the nicest cabin. Yeah, it was, uh, uh, we started out in the back of the uh, lot and then we, as the years went by, we got to move up to the front cabin, which is what Mother always wanted. And so Mom would sit outside the cabin, right by the water, and uh, Any watch. Any later years, did they spend their whole summer there? Uh, I don't think we ever spent the whole summer there. Maybe a couple months. After you left. After, you yeah, they the still, sp they still sp uh, spent maybe two, three weeks, maybe a month. I really don't remember. I was gone at that time.